now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. For the second second day in a row, we have more monsoon thunderstorms down in southern Utah, and we have more flash flood warnings to tell you about. But the flood watch, that's actually been extended through tomorrow, and we talked about that yesterday, how that was going to be a possibility. And in the northern half of the state, we have plenty of heat and dry skies for now, but maybe by the end of the week, we could see some changes to that. But as we're really working our way through the afternoon, those showers and thunderstorms are continuing to develop in southern Utah, stretching all the way from Grand County down to now into Washington County. So if you're going to be out and about in southern Utah, through the rest of the afternoon into the early stretches of the evening. You need to make sure that you're alert to the changing weather. One of the flash flood warnings is for the northernmost half of San Juan County. This goes until 615 it includes Spanish Valley, Pack Creek fire burn area. So continue to be in the higher terrain for right now within this flash flood warning as we still have water falling on the ground. But the bulk of the heaviest rain has moved away an aerial flood advisory around Moab. So be very alert if you're around arches and also canyon lands. And then as we make our way into western Garfield County, just had a very strong thunderstorm that's worked its way through Hillsdale. Flash flood warning goes until 645. This includes Red Canyon and Hillsdale. So you still want to be in the higher terrain in this area as well as these thunderstorms continue to drift off towards the west. So in around Bryce Canyon, Zion National Park, we are also going to have that possibility for some flash flooding. And the bulk of the thunderstorms that we're seeing right now are actually occurring outside of the flash flood watch, but this now has again been extended through tomorrow. But if you're along and south of I-70 for today and for tomorrow, you need to continue to be alert to that changing weather at uh, changing weather as thunderstorms are going to be capable of heavy rain. Here's the view from Bryce Canyon. The skies have really darkened up, so we got thunderstorms around Bryce Canyon, even though not necessarily falling right now, but the flash flood potential not only for today, but for tomorrow. Flash flooding is not only a possibility at majority of our parks, but it is a probability. Again, this is for the rest of today and tomorrow. A good idea to avoid those hikes in those slot canyons, but if you're going to be going for a hike, make sure that you have more than one way to get alerts just in case there is a warning issued for your location. Here's the view from St. George. Looks a little bit different this afternoon compared to yesterday afternoon, but you can see a thunderstorm. That's really developing off in the distance, so, th so thunderstorms are going to be a possibility once again in St. George. And here's the view from Alta looking down into the Salt Lake Valley, where this is a beautiful view. It looks a little bit hazy, but in Salt Lake City, we're now sitting at 99 degrees, 92 degrees in Provo. And with the moisture around southern Utah, not quite as hot. Logan and St. George right now are actually sitting at the same temperature. You don't see that very often. The reason for the milkiness in our sky and for the haziness is because some wildfire smoke from other states has worked its way in with winds predominantly out of the northwest in northern Utah, and that's resulted in not the greatest air quality. For tonight, we'll see an overnight low of 73 degrees in Salt Lake City, climbing to 101 tomorrow afternoon, 84 in Cedar City tomorrow afternoon, 97 in St. George. Showers and thunderstorms are likely in the same areas that we're finding them today. Again, that's going to mainly be along and south of I-70 with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies in the northern half of the state. Showers and thunderstorms will generally lose their steam as we go into tonight, but then as we go into our Wednesday, more scattered showers and thunderstorms down in southern Utah, but possibly by Thursday into Friday, some of that moisture could find its way into northern Utah. But for St. George, chance for thunderstorms the next couple of days, a little bit lower of a chance Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but it should be enough moisture to still keep the temperature at bay. Then along the Wasatch Front, daytime highs near 100 degrees for our Wednesday and Thursday. A slight chance on Friday, then looks to be a little bit better of a chance for some wet weather as we turn the page into early next week. If you want to stay on top of your weather, 